Night is called a ghost. Ghosts are always very bad elements, always creating a fearful situation for others. Similarly, the ghosts like non-devotees who have no respect for the pure devotees nor for the Vishnu deity in the temples create a fearful situation for the devotees at all times. The Lord never accepts any offering by such impure ghosts, in other words, non-devotees. There is a common saying that one should first love the dog of the beloved before one shows any loving sentiments for the beloved. The stage of pure devotion is attained by sincerely serving a pure devotee of the Lord. I'll read that again. The stage of pure devotion is attained by sincerely serving a pure devotee of the Lord. The first condition of devotional service to the Lord is therefore to be a servant of a pure devotee. And this condition is fulfilled by the statement reception of the dust of the lotus feet of a pure devotee who has also served another pure devotee. That is the way of pure disciplic succession or devotional parampara. So Bhagavatam Grirenu means the dust of the feet of a pure devotee. Uh, the life of the living entity is a devotional service, so if one is not engaged in devotional service, he is considered to be dead. And um, one experiences life in devotional service uh, by first being favored Bhagavatam uh, Reveni by the dust of the feet of a pure devotee. And how has he become a pure devotee? By um, receiving the dust of the lotus feet of another pure devotee, his spiritual master, who in turn received the dust of the lotus feet of another pure devotee, his spiritual master. And as Sri Prabhupada says, that is the way of pure disciplic succession or devotional parampara. Maharaj Rahugana inquired from the great saint Jad Bharat as to how he had attained such a liberated stage of a Paramahamsa. And in answer, the great saint replied as follows, Srimad Bhagavatam 5.12.12. Rahuganai tat tapasanayati nache jaya nirvapanad grihadva yachandasa daiva javagni suryar mahavina mahatpadarajo bishekam. O King Rahugana, the perfectional stage of devotional service, or the Paramahansa stage of life, cannot be attained unless one is blessed by the dust of the feet of great devotees. So hear that, that phrase, Mahat Padra Jogi uh, uh, You know the word Abhishek. So, Mahapada Rajogi Sheka means one, one bathes oneself with the uh, dust of the lotus feet of the Guru Devotee. O King Rahugana, the perfectional stage of devotional service or the Paramahamsa stage of life 
cannot be attained unless one is blessed by the dust of the feet of great devotees. It is never attained by tapasya, austerity. The Vedic worshipping process, acceptance of the renounced order of life, the discharge of the duties of household life, the chanting of the Vedic hymns, or by the performance of penances in the hot sun, within cold water, or before the blazing fire. You know, there's, there are all these different processes, and they are also recommended um, in, in, in the Shastra. But the perfectional stage of devotional service cannot be attained by any of those processes, uh, but only by uh, bathing oneself in the dust of the lotus feet of the pure devotee. In other words, Lord Sri Krishna is the property of his pure, unconditional devotees. And as such, only the devotees can deliver Krishna to another devotee. Krishna is never obtainable directly. Lord Chaitanya therefore designated himself as Gopi Bhartu Padakamalayor Dasa Dasan Dasa, or the most obedient servant of the servants of the Lord, who maintains the Gopi damsels at Vrindavan. Yes, Gopi Bhartu Padakamalayor Dasa Dasan Dasa. Servant of the servant of the servant. And that's also from press, servant of the servant of the servant. A pure devotee, therefore, never approaches the Lord directly, but tries to please the servant of the Lord's servants. And thus the Lord becomes pleased. And only then can the devotee relish the taste of the tulsi leaves stuck to the Lord's lotus feet. In the Brahma Samhita, it is said that the Lord is never to be found by becoming a great scholar of the Vedic literatures, but he is very easily approachable through his pure devotee. Videshu Durlava, Adurlava, Adurlava. Durlava means difficult, it's great difficulty. Videshu Durlava, very difficult to, to study of the Vedas. Adurlava, but easily obtain Atmabhata through his devotee. In the Brahma Samhita, it is said that the Lord is never to be found by becoming a great scholar of the Vedic literatures, Vedeshu Durlava, but he is very easily approachable to his pure devotees, Adurlava Atma In Vrindavan, all the pure devotees prayed for the mercy of Srimati Radharani the pleasure potency of Lord Krishna. Srimati Radharani is a tender-hearted feminine counterpart of the Supreme Whole, resembling the perfectional stage of the worldly feminine nature. So the nectar of devotion lists different qualities of Krishna and one of them is compassion. And the nectar of devotion says that Krishna's compassionate nature is um, represented by Srimati Radharani and therefore devotees can take advantage of Krishna's compassionate nature by approaching 
Srimati Radharani. Srimati Radharani is a tender-hearted feminine counterpart of the Supreme Whole, resembling the perfectional stage of the worldly feminine nature. Therefore, the mercy of Radharani is available very readily to the sincere devotees. And once she recommends a devotee to Lord Krishna, the Lord at once accepts the devotee's admittance into his association. Yes, and Varshana, the place of Srimati Radharani, they say that whatever Radha does, Krishna likes. And whatever Radha likes, Krishna does. So if Radha likes that someone should get the mercy of Krishna, then uh, Krishna will do it. The conclusion is, therefore, that one should be more serious about seeking the mercy of the devotee than that of the Lord directly. For by one's doing so, by the goodwill of the devotee, the natural attraction for the service